Hello my love, so welcome back to my channel. I have a video idea that I just couldn't get out of my head. I did a tray comparison video a little while back, but I decided to do a little bit different um, type of tray comparison video. This time it's gonna be my friend made me purchase this tray um, comparison video. So these are all trays that I was heavily influenced um, by other people to try out. Um, some of these trays are going to be um, repeats from last time and some of them are going to be trays I've had in my collection for a while but I did order a couple new ones so that we could take a look at them. So let us go ahead and hop into this one. This one comes to me from the store Muni Made. Let me pull that up on my phone really quickly so I can make sure that I am giving you valid information. Let's see, I believe it's on page one. I believe it's one of the most recent purchases that I have made. Um, yep, okay, so this item was purchased on, let's see, the 10th. I'm not, oh no, the 15th. No, no, it was purchased on the 13th. Wow, I'm not doing well. Um, and 13th of December, it was shipped on the 15th of December. I can't remember when exactly I got it. This has been in my possession for a little while. I'm not sure when this video is going to go up. I have to wait for the other trays. I have to film and edit, but um, this is from the shop Muni Made. Oh, a sticker. Grab this out of the way. Make sure that my address uh, is not visible. That is very important to me. Okay, so I paid $10 and I got one tray. And this, <laughs> this tray, um, I was heavily influenced by Jenny the Uncrafty Crafter. I will go ahead and leave her listed in the description box. Um, I seen her unbox one and then I seen her unbox another one and I was like, all right, girl, let me get one. Um, it says, Abigail, thank you so much for your Muni Made order. Happy diamond painting. So, first of all, packaging is excellent. Like, I just ordered one tray and look at how much she did for this. This is, oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, and it matches my nails. Look at that. I love this. This is massive. I am digging this. So first I want to try it out really quickly. Um, I will try them all individually and then I will all try them all in comparison style. And then I will give you my final thoughts after having used the tray for um, a couple days at a time. So this one is going to be perfect because right now I'm working on Nightbringer. This is going to be perfect for large sections of color blocking. Um, already I can tell I like it. It's, it's comfortable to hold. It's easy to shake in comparison to a larger tray. And the spout is right there. And let's go ahead and see how we dump. So I am using bags for this one. Obviously it may not be the same for you. Um, so That was easy. Um, I definitely enjoyed this one, so I will probably be taking this one with me tonight um, to use at work. This is perfect size for large amounts of color blocking. It's gonna give me fantastic lineups. I don't think I brought my pen over here, but I am working with a 15 placer right now for Nightbringer, so this is gonna be perfect for that. So I am done messing with this tray. I'm gonna have to say I like it so far. Obviously, I will know more when I continue to use it, but so far, like it a lot. I love how um, the branding is on this side. So I'm definitely going to be taking this with me and tossing it out and um, I will let you know my thoughts. I just noticed she has a business card in here. This is a super cute business card. These are I believe crocheted items. So this is that's a very nice business card. So overall packaging was excellent. Um, but uh, I'll let you know my thoughts on the tray. It appears I had another sticker in my Muni Made order as well that I missed. That is super cute. I'm collecting so many stickers. I think I want to, uh, I don't know, what do I, what do I want to do with them? If you have any ideas for stickers of all the, if you have any ideas <laughs> for all the stickers that all the companies have sent me, let me know. I'm thinking about doing, I've seen, um, DIY Moonshop do a sticker covered everything. So I was thinking about getting one of those collapsible tubes for transporting and sticking them on there and then sealing them with Mod Podge. What do you think? If you have any ideas, let me know. 
in the comments below. All right, I'll see you in the next clip. Hello, my loves, so welcome back to my channel. Oh, this is a clip. Just kidding. Hello, welcome back to this clip. Uh, so, you have seen, oh, by the way, I've decided to change the title of the video. It is now using my friend's favorite tray. So this would be Jenny's favorite tray. This, and here is Jess's favorite tray. This is Whitney's and so many other people's now. So I was gonna wait for, cause I placed another order from Bella, RJ, Nicole, and I might still wait, I might, um, because I am a train wreck, but I wanted to go ahead and get at least this portion filmed so that I could start with this stuff. Okay, so let's see. Um, I feel so cool to get an order from you, a YouTuber. Um, I don't know what that's, I can't read cursive. <laughs> you and watch all your vids oh sub to you maybe I don't know I can't read cursive glad Jessica introduced you to me and vice versa thanks Pam so it's got this nice note here um, handwritten part uh, what's it say I... sub to you I think I can't read cursive okay shoot so oh I got me some candy. Thank you, Pam. So let us pop this open. So these trays, oh, I love this washi tape. Wow. So these trays come from 3D Wilson Designs. Is that right? Yeah, Wilson 3D Design. Sorry. Uh, on my order slip here, it says I paid $24.99 for the two of them, $5 shipping, so $5.30 shipping. So a total of $30.29. So these were recommended to me by Jess. Jess says these are the best trays in the world, and I'm like, girl, we'll see. Um, nothing against Pam, but I am a picky, picky lady. You know what I'm saying? So I decided to test these out and see what happens. So let me just break those apart. Oh, look at that. Okay, so here is the tray here. And here is another tray. I got a set. Uh-oh, how do I get this open? Help. I need an adult's help. Got it. Yay. <laughs> okay, so we are going to put, first of all, should I eat this? Should I eat it right now? No, I'll wait. So, what uh, we're doing, obviously, you already know by the title of the video, we are doing a tray comparison video using my friend's favorite trays. So... We know how Bella RJ Nicole performs, well at least I do. Um, I've used them on my channel for, since I started getting their trays. I am completely obsessed. Lines up good, I should have picked a different color tray. Ooh, yikes, hold on, let me grab another one. This is the older version of their tray, but nothing really has changed other than the lid being a slide on lid now. But I went ahead and grabbed blue because it matches everything else. So we're going to go ahead and shake it up. Oops, run away. Lines up really good. Next, we'll test out Muni Made. You've already seen how this one performs. I'm here to give you my thoughts now. I like it a lot, but... I find that these get dirty quicker. You know what, maybe I need more drills. Maybe I should have done one bag in each tray. Maybe that's what I should have done. Cause I don't feel like that was effective enough. Okay, so let's try it again with more drills in this tray cause it is a bigger tray. Hold on, I can get it, hold on guys. They line up pretty good. I, ooh, I am struggling with this one today. I wonder if this is, did I overfill it now? Yo, what am I doing?
there we go so it lines up pretty good um, this is not my favorite drill tray um, it, that still belongs to Bella Art De Nicole uh, I am going to now retire this one for the time being so I can test out my new Wilson 3d designs I'm super excited to have um, found them because I love the concept of stacking trays I don't know if you noticed or not but I am a lover of stacking trays so this goes like this and that lid locks on pretty good so I might have to pick up another lid because if this is you know what I mean like that lid locks on really good Ooh, I like that uh oh now how do I get it off Okay, got it. Okay, so let's test out these spouts really quickly. So all their spouts are green. They don't do matching spouts at Wilson 3D Designs. I'm struggling to get them to come out of the spout right now. Hold on. Something's got to be wrong. Let me test and see if they line up first because this will be my first time using them so I want to test it out. Okay, they line up really good. I like that. I know that I overfill it and I know people have commented on it but I really like to overfill my trays because then I don't have to keep filling them. So I will try with less. I like how they have these little divots here. It's uh, definitely the perfect place for you to be able to hold your tray to shake it. I had it before. Why can't I get it now? There we go. Yeah, so they line up pretty good. I'm impressed with that. Now let's test them and see if we can get them to pour out better this time. I wonder what the problem was before. I'm going to watch them fall out and see... There we go. See, I knew it was a me problem. There we go. They're coming out really good now. So apparently I am really dumb. Uh, I asked Elizabeth Ensley for help. It says, I added you. That's what it says. So thank you, Elizabeth, for uh, helping me read cursive. I, what, fun fact. Uh, let's get let's get candid here. Fun fact: uh, I was the grade that they did not teach uh, cursive writing to, so I taught myself, which means I never learned how to read it. So thank you so much for this note. I appreciate it. Um, thank you, Pam. All right, that's that's it. I'm done in incriminating myself. Okay, I am back for the final part of this uh, tray comparison video. Um, I obviously know what Bella Art Nicole's how they perform and how they feel in my hand and everything but for the sake of comparison compare it <laughs> for the sake of comparing I did grab some more of her trays I actually have two orders this one believe it or not is back when she was still uh, doing the Etsy shop one so I have this one here to open and I figure since we're doing a tray video and you know uh, sort of a tray unboxing as well. I figured I would just add these to the pile, especially since I am, you know, I just, I just always have, I always have some Bella Art and Nicole trays coming in. So let us begin. So I got the rose gold and the red. Okay, so we have. Um, their new website logo here or their web, new website card information as well as their usual sort of uh, business card. I also got the Galaxy Silver Tray and I grabbed a 9 Skinny Placer so I can test that out. However, that will not be tested in today's video because this is a tray video. Why can't I get it to go in? There we go. Oh, that's a nice fit. Nice job. I like that one a lot. So uh, my Nicole Trays uh, collection has grown significantly, um, obviously. Um, I won't do a, maybe one day I'll do a whole entire, all of the trays that I own from them video, if you guys would be interested in seeing that. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and just stack these back up. And whatever is in the next box is what we will use for the final sort of comparing, if you will. So. So if you know of a tray company or some trays that you would like to see compared, go ahead and leave them in the uh, comment section because I would like to do another one of these because these are my some of my favorite videos to film because I, I really like the process of, you know, first of all, finding new things and trying new things. And uh, second of all, I like um, supporting small businesses, whether I know them personally or not. So once again, we have a another business card here. Let's see. They stuck a sticker over top of it to um, not have them go to Etsy anymore. I checked. I wanted. I was like, oh, is there a typo? No, it's just their new website. Okay, so let us open these ones up. So here is the um, one of the newer sort of releases, the Caribbean, and then of course the large one. I'll put that at the bottom of my stack. My collection is growing and it's beautiful and I love it. Here is a mint parfait. Once again, beautiful. I love it. So I'm going to go ahead and stack those there and we will go ahead and do some comparing. So I am going to grab, actually I will grab those two back. Okay, so, and I will also grab one of the little ones each as well so we can see. So, when it comes time for these trays, um, I obviously loved this one, no problem here at all. Um, this one, I felt like the ridges might be a little high in comparison to what I'm used to because I found uh, my wax, because I'm, I'm currently using pink wax, so I found that my wax was getting stuck on the sides and then causing all the uh, drills to bunch up, so that wasn't necessarily the funnest for me. But other than that, I had absolutely no problem with this tray. It's a large size tray. To recap, this is from Munimade. This was $10. At the time, they weren't charging shipping. I believe now they have started. Um, obviously all information will be linked in the description box. This one was sort of um, brought to my attention by Jenny. So uh, the title of this video, it's a working title, is um, Trays My Friends Made Me Buy, right? Okay, oops, threw some bubble wrap there. So this one was made, um, this one was forced upon me by Jenny. And then these ones are the Wilson 3D Designs. They were forced on me by Jess. And then these ones, I believe uh, Whitney was the first one who showed me this company. So, but getting back to this, I had no problems with this other than the fact that the ridges, they do feel, I mean, they're not necessarily too high. I just feel like they're a little higher than what I'm used to, which was the reason that it was causing my drills to get stuck. I do also want to point out a few things really quickly. So let's do round first. So I'm going to go through with round drills because that's one thing that was missing from my last video that I decided I had to include in this one. Oops, that's square. How did I manage to still screw that up even though I said I wanted round? Hold on. I want to do round first. You'll see why in a second. I am going to do round in here. Oh, there's a square left. Come on out, buddy. Come on. There we go. So I used this one for Nightbringer. And then by the time I was finished with this tray, I had moved on to my next project, so I didn't ever get to use it with squares. But you can see that this is a decent fit for round right it's a there's a gap which isn't a problem I would rather have drills too loose than too tight but too too loose is a problem so that is why I am now going to go ahead and well first of all let me pour this in here right do I want to do that or do I want to compare with round first we'll do round okay so I'm gonna go ahead and pour some round into this one and then I'm gonna pour some round into this one okay so I lost a diamond. That was my fault. I tilted it too far. So my drills line up perfectly. Everything's fine with those, right? Here we go with the Wilson 3D Designs. I didn't encounter any problems with the drills lining up, but the one thing I, 
I'll, I'll get to this in a second, I guess. I will evaluate them all individually. So you can see here that they line up pretty good. Um, it's a little bit tighter of a fit than, for example, the Muni Made. You can see that there is far more, oh, focus. Hey, 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 what are you doing? There you go. You can see there's more space in the Muni Made than in the Wilson 3D Designs. And then with the Bella Arte Nicole trays, I feel like it's a happy medium. They're not too tight, but they're not too loose. Okay, so definitely nothing wrong with this. I enjoyed using these. Um, I'll get to the pros and cons in a second. I start. I sort of jumped the gun when I started talking about the pros and cons of this one. I wanted to evaluate them um, with round versus square first, just because I hadn't used square with some of these, and I hadn't used round with some of them. So, but I've used my Bella Arjuna Cole trays for all of the things because they are still my running favorites. Spoiler alert, they are still my favorite. Okay. Okay. Maybe I should pause this and come back so we're not just watching me do trays. Well, I mean, I can talk while I do it. That's what I'll do. I'll talk. So, I didn't really find anything wrong with any of the trays per se, just small little imperfections and we'll we'll sort of go over them in a second. Oh, hold on, let me grab my lid here. I do like this lid a lot. We will get into that momentarily as well. There we go. And I'll just sort of leave this one so that I don't have to fuss with it again. I'll just put a lid on it. Okay, so moving into square drills here. So the Bella Arte Nicole is always fine, but we will show it anyway. Okay, that feels like a fair amount in each. Okay. Okay, so I wanted to test this because this one is the one where the, the lines just simply aren't as tight, but they uh, seem to line up fine. Absolutely no complaints here. Yep, it looks good to me. Definitely looks good, but I can tell that the ridges are definitely higher, especially with the squares. Yeah, the ridges are definitely a little higher. You can't really see it, but... Focus. Focus, there you go, okay. So you can't really see it all that well, but you can see that the squares are sort of peeking over the um, ridges a lot more than, maybe I should go like that, maybe that's a better way of showing it, than these are. These ridges are a lot higher. Um, which, again, nothing wrong with that. I do, um, I do have no problem with that at all, okay. Back to Bella Arte Nicole. Lines up great. Looks great. Feels great. It's a it's a more perfect fit for my hand than. I mean, this is is not much wider, but it it definitely is a difference. And with this being here, I have to sort of shake like this. Just a little note. Now let's get into the pros and cons now that we've compared them with round and square. So I sort of started going over this as well already. Um, the ridges I felt were just a little too high. Like let me see. Yeah, but the, the height of the ridges isn't causing a problem for me other than the fact that my wax is sort of getting stuck as I'm picking them up. The wax is sort of, you know, sticking itself to the ridges, which then causes wax buildup, right? And um, then, you know, when you're using the, the tray, the wax will stick to the diamonds and then next thing you know, you'll have like a cluster. But I do love this. I love the way it lines up. I love the size of it. Everything is, like I didn't have any complaints other than the one with the ridges. That was it. That was really it. I loved this tray. Um, so thank you, Jenny, for putting me onto them. Um, even though Nicole's trays are still my running, come on, hey, focus on me. Even Nicole's, oh no, I did it again. Even though Nicole's trays are still sort of my running favorite, um, I do absolutely enjoy this tray for larger color blocking spots um, and I don't have a problem with the fact that the ridges are more spread out either. Just just an FYI, nothing, none of the things that I'm saying are necessarily a problem and bothering me, but I feel um, 
I feel compelled to share this information because that's what we're here for, right? That's what um, YouTubers do. We are here to sort of share our experiences and then our experience keeps you from making a potential mistake. Not that purchasing from any of these companies is going to be a mistake. I'm just, you know, I'm just telling you how I'm feeling, you know? that I feel like that's my job. So let me scoop these uh, guys back up real quick. And we'll move on to the next one. So, the uh, Wilson 3D Designs. First of all, I bought a set, um, similarly to how I buy sets from Bella RJ Nicole. Now, while we cannot compare a set with this one because it only comes with one, I did find out that they have half sizes, so I might pick one of those up in the future. Um, not for this video because I'm just so tired of keeping footage from this video. So, um, I did compare the sets a little bit too. So with this one, let's grab the other little mint parfait one. So with this one, you have, um, let me grab the lid for this one. So you have a lid on both of them. This one slides into place and locks and you can like sort of, you know, do all of the things. You know, of course you don't want to be overzealous and like slam it around, but for the most part, like you can see I'm being pretty violent with it and nothing, okay? So this one, I did notice one thing that I will point out. The lid has a, first of all, it's the same concept. It's, it's a nice tight fitting lid. I do love that. And so you can just sort of like mess around with it and it's not going anywhere. Okay, but as the stacking goes, you have this one here and it stacks pretty good, right? But then if you were to go, oh my goodness, round one stuck in there. Okay, here's a, here's a con for me real quick. Um, the way that the lines are set up, you can't get some of them out. And then I guess these guys were just stuck stuck. So that is a slightly tighter fit, but whatever, regardless. When it comes time for this one, it's a, it's a looser fit. These guys fit together looser than this way. Nope, I lied. This way is the looser fit. See, I can't even get it to stay. See? So I don't know if that's a, a design printing flaw or if that's just how it's meant to be. Like one is meant to go on the bottom and one is meant to go on the top. The lid fits fine on both of them. So that's, you know, and then this, you know, you can sort of shake one around and then the other one's not going to go anywhere. So that's a good feeling for sure. Um, and then as far as size comparing, let us go ahead and do that. I will take these both. So I'm going to show it both ways, okay? So you can see that the Bella Art de Nicole is uh, larger, for sure, um, excluding this spout here. It's larger. It fits like... Oh, I'm losing them. I'm losing them. So you can see that it fits sort of on top of it. So Bella Arginicole will hold more drills, um, for sure. Now, as far as the sets go, my preferred set is still going to be Bella Arginicole, um, just because that's what I'm most comfortable with. Um, I will go ahead and do a little bit more in-depth comparison on these two trays here, because out of all the ones that I've tried, these are the two front runners. So, Bella Art to Nicole. Um, you know, Nicole and I are friends, but I know that she wants me to be honest about everything. So, I will be completely honest and say that the things that I don't necessarily like about this tray, I love about this tray, and then vice versa. So, obviously, the outstanding, let me zoom in. Obviously, the thing that you notice first when you look at, okay, what's the difference, is going to be the spout. I do like this spout, and I'll tell you why I like this spout versus some of the other spouts that I have tried in the past. It is a, a deeper spout. Maybe I should go this way. Maybe it's, yeah, there you go. It's a deeper spout for sure. Okay, so it's not like an, a very, um, like the last one where they all sort of, if they weren't going in the, uh, what are they called? The 3D, 3D design, my 3D design, those trays. So their spout was sort of not deep enough and it was getting caught. Now I will say that I know Nicole and Jamie take extra, extra care 
of their uh, drills and their filament and all that. So I'm going to go ahead and point. I'm dumping this real quick so I don't get any. But see, yep, we're having problems getting them out. And that's because of the lineup. We'll go over that in a second, though. Um, I will say that I did find some filament in this tray here. It didn't hinder me the way that the 3D Designs one did, so, or the Wilson, no, this is Wilson, the My 3D Designs, not to be confused with Wilson Designs, which is this tray. So the filament is there. It's not hindering me, um, but I do know that Nicole and Jamie take special care to uh, get rid of any filament that may be existing on their trays. They don't typically have trash. Of course, everyone makes mistakes. Everyone, you know, we're all humans. We only can do the best that we can do. But, for myself, I have never experienced an excess of trash with this company. Not that I feel like this is an excess of trash, trash. I'm just pointing it out because that is my job. I am I'm meant to do these sort of things. So you can see the filament sort of right, come on, focus on me. You can see it just, you see a little dangly piece right there. It didn't hinder me at all. Mentioning that did not hinder me at all. So as far as the uh, shape, the lineup, it's difficult to get drills out of uh, the far two and three rows simply because it's blocked, right? It's the shape. It's, it's definitely a nice fit in my hand and I do love these grippy things. I do love these grips. And I also love the silk feeling of this tray. Uh, now, of course, Nicole has the silk feeling too. Well, she has it on both. Yeah, she does, but some of them don't feel as smooth. But I do love the feeling of this grip here. Focus on me. So I do love the feeling of this grip. It's the perfect sort of spot for me. That's how I grip my trays like that. And then for this one, I will grip it like sort of like this or like this or even sometimes like this. But for this, this is like, the it contours perfectly to my personal hand shape and size. So that is perfect for me. And I don't necessarily have big hands, but I also don't necessarily have small hands. I know my claws make it look like I have more longer fingers, but these are, this is the perfect um, sort of size for me when it comes to my pointer finger and my thumb. This is a perfect size, okay? Um, another thing, this one comes with spouts automatically. The last tray that we compared did not come with the spout and I did not buy one and boy do I wish I would have. But regardless, that tray just entirely was not a good experience. But this one, however, I will use this in combination with my Nicole trays. So that will tell you that I definitely rate this one pretty high. Okay, Nicole is still my favorite because I do like the way that her trays are manufactured. I like the way that her trays, there's never a question, will it, won't it, it always just is. Um, and then going back to uh, sort of the cons of this one, aside from the stacking issue, I didn't really experience any other cons. Um, I definitely appreciated the uh, quality of this. This is definitely a quality tray. Now, if we're talking money comparison, I will say that Nicole includes three trays, one larger than this, two smaller than this. See, you can see it fits inside of it. But then again, this sort of fits inside of here. So, um, but Nicole's trays are comparable in price to a set of these. So this is about $25, and then this set is about $25 as well, give or take. I believe this one is $26 on her website. I can't, can't remember exactly, and I believe this is $24.99. So um, her prices are comparable, or their prices are comparable. Um, at the end of the day, it really is all about preference, and there really is no right or wrong answer. Um, so when we're looking at all of the trays here, just to go over um, one more time, I believe this one by itself, I'm gonna pull up the price of them by themselves because that also makes a huge difference when we're talking um, about tray sizes versus cost. So I will go ahead and grab that. I got some notifications on Instagram. I will go ahead and look at them later. Hopefully it's not important, um, but this is important to me. So, I'm gonna look at my purchases and reviews on Etsy. Oh my goodness, I've been filming for 21 minutes and I haven't taken a breath. Okay. So, where is it? Okay. 
So my purchase from this company, Wilson 3D Designs, uh, it was a total of $30.29. So this, uh, the tray set was $24.99 for the stacker set. And then the shipping was $5.30. It was a super quick shipping time. Loved it, loved it, loved that. And then when we are coming over to the Min Parfait trays, I don't actually have that listing because it's on my, um, it's on the website. I purchased these from the website. So I'm gonna go ahead and look back on Instagram. I don't know if her prices have changed since, but um, I will go ahead and take a peek. So when it comes to the red and pink set tray, okay, that's what I can talk about here. So their set of the silk one was $26.50 at the time. I believe it is now $26. Um, and then the silk, I believe, is now $27 versus now it, um, at the time it was $26.50. So um, their prices are pretty comparable. And now when we are looking at only the uh, single, a single set. So let me go find a, let me find a time when I ordered one singular tray which was got forever ago, basically. Okay, here we go. So they are approximately, one single large size tray from Nicole is going to be about, I think $12, is that right? Yep, about 12 bucks, 12 to $13 for a large size tray. Whereas this one was $10 and it's larger. And then of course we have the Wilson trays. I'll go pull them up, their website up, or their, you know what I'm trying to say their uh, single tray let's look at the single tray is ten dollars so these two are about the same price obviously one is larger and then this one is a little bit more expensive um, but that is my sort of comparing at the end of the day I am still preferring my Nicole trays simply because I I love them I have never found a flaw with a tray yet I'm not saying that that can't happen I'm saying that I personally haven't found a flaw however I will use all of these trays for different purposes. So this is a nice fit for squares. I don't really particularly enjoy it for rounds because you can see my rounds are still hanging in there. This one is perfect for color blocking and this one is perfect for everyday use. I have had no problems with my Nicole trays yet and I don't anticipate having one in the future. So. That is it for today's uh, long-winded comparison. I know that I've been filming for 24 minutes and I don't believe that there's anything in here that I can edit out, so we'll just have to hope that the other two clips are short enough to where it's not horrible. Anyways, with all that being said, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to spend some time with me. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If you like me and would like to see more from me, please hit subscribe. I would be so happy to have you. All right, guys, I hope that you are... Being safe, wash your hands and take care of yourselves. Bye, guys.